Stop take, it. Take the most. <laughs> She's so hungry. Huh? <laughs> trying to make a video. And she just cares just, about eating. I'm just focused on eating now. <laughs> I'm waiting way too long for this moment. Hey guys, what is up? Is that how YouTubers introduce their videos? Something like that. So I'm starting a new YouTube series and I want to just give you a quick rundown on why I'm doing it and what it is about. We're halfway through 2018 now and if you're not vegan already, what's wrong with you? I'm joking. In all seriousness, if you're not vegan, wait a minute. Don't panic click off this video to go and watch some cute cats. This video is not just for vegans and I'm not going to try and convert you. All you need is to have a love of good food and an open mind and you might just enjoy it. Save the cats for after. Not to eat though, obviously. So I've been vegan for two years now and a lot of people have had questions for me. And the most common one is, what do you eat? The most craziest has got to have been the person who actually thought I ate grass. <laughs> no. I don't eat grass. So I'm making a series to show people that there's a lot more out there than just salad or grass. A lot of it is really exciting. I want to find the best places and show them to you guys. So to start, I'm going to the Veggie Chippy, which is a traditional English junk food place that does pizza, kebab, fish and chips, battered sausage, oh. but it's all vegan. So I'm gonna go try the food and just see what it's all about and then give a review on it. But I don't want it to sound biased coming from a vegan, so I'm also gonna take the amazing Ayola Lee. Hi guys. <laughs> who isn't vegan, but she's... I'm, a, I'm an aspiring vegetarian. So I wanna take the root from pescetarianism, vegetarianism. Vegan is like high level vegetarianism. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. So should we go check it out? Tell us about your journey and like what inspired you to open the veggie chippy? Well, us guys were heavy meat eaters at a young age. And then we got initiated into deep meditation and we stopped meat all of a sudden. And because we was young and we used to always go chip shop, eat saveloys, donna kebabs, fishes, chips, you name it. Throughout our journey of 18 years of being vegetarian, we came up with the veggie chippy. The hardest bit was to get the batter right. Yeah, everything else we kind of had in the bag. So doing your soya mixes, messing with different flavors. I think that we're going to fit into like, you know, in between like McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Burger King. Yeah. Hopefully we pray to God, but that's the aim of the game. Yo, veggie chippy. Listen, man, a proper shatter. I'm a proper shatter. Plus I cook proper. I can even shot to the copper. Right here, they call us topper topper. It's vegan food, but it moves like the f Mac Whopper. Cheers. What you really honor? Yo, they got that donna. You see what we honor? Moving on some different kind of tip. We don't shot fish, we shot fish. You got this? You can cut this. I straight up you shot this. Five us for a munch, put me on your top list. Is that it? Uh -huh. so you want no. Take you should take your piece. What, oh. Take that up and then oh, you just make it messy. Uh, take you, take your food. There's no delays, man. We've delayed enough. All you have to do is take the plate off and just, just do that, you know. Okay, take your plate. <laughs> put your food on it. So I had the we've all had the same thing. I had like a donut and a plate of bread. Obviously, it's not actually donut. It's like an alternative to donut meat. Um, so that was a plus. I really liked the pizza that we had. It was like a meat feast pizza. Again, obviously it's not real meat because it's a vegan restaurant. This is nice, you know, this pizza. Could that pizza replace you ordering a pizza with real cheese and real meat? Yeah. If I was to scrap pizza, meat cheese, whatever, I would definitely go for the veggie chippy meat cheese pizza. Especially the chili sauce or that. You love that chili sauce, sauce didn't I love you? the chili. <laughs> you were scooping up that chili sauce like it was gonna last forever. I'd probably have a chili chili drink. Do you have a chili drink? For me, meat lightness, I would say a five. 
absolutely. The kebab, uh, it's been two years since I had a proper kebab, like meat kebab, but that tasted exactly like kebab. I don't know how you do it, but it was spot on. Masala fish, but soya. It tastes so much like fish. That's a five for me, and you said? A okay, four. a four. A salad four. Okay. Yeah. And Lux. Beautiful. The masala fish was actually prepared really well, like it did really look very appealing to the guy. That is definitely a four. Yeah, plus. yeah, I'd, I'd say a five. I think the looks of everything was well presented. Service. <laughs> Service out of the flipping through the roof it was beautiful i'm i'm really keen on customer service and people people with good people skills and it's, when it's natural and genuine i'm i'm all for it so they've definitely got that on point yeah. at the venue should be definitely like i don't want to dish out these fives like they're so easy <laughs> but i genuinely cannot fault them the service was impeccable they just keep coming with more when you thought we were getting like the best royalty treatment not just because we're filming but just because they value everyone and their customers so Five. Definitely five, five star. <laughs> and the last point is location. The location, you know what, I'm rooting for them because I know that they have um, envisions to franchise onwards. It's just they're the starting, well they've been there for a few years but it's basically their starting point and I know they're going to do some amazing things so I'm really rooting for them and I'm rooting for them to get a nicer, a nicer area. The only way from here is upwards basically. What was your rating? I'd probably give the area Three. Yeah, I hear, three. That. I hear that. Yeah. I think I'd have to go between a two and a three. We did get approached once, but mainly that's just because we were filming. But um, <laughs> 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 if you are if you are near the town centre in Birmingham, eight to ten minutes. So actually, I'm going to upgrade that rating to a three because the location easily to get access. to, you can easily get to it. Yeah. Make sure you check out the veggie chippy. All you vegetarians or budding vegetarian heads aspiring vegetarian heads make sure you check out the veggie chippy here in oh. Birmingham go man the customer service is amazing the food is amazing customer service is amazing it's a really good we vibe it's a really good vibe definitely I definitely will be going back there again yeah me too big up um, go go and AJ if you want us to visit somewhere anywhere in the UK to start with that is a vegan restaurant or food establishment then comment down below and we'll consider it um, we're trying to find the best places to go and we're trying to give an honest review on yeah. all those places. Yeah, honestly, the best policy. I am a Yoli Lee. I'm the vegan connoisseur. Yeah. Stay subscribe, tuned, subscribe, share, support. like, do everything. Yeah, man. We're doing Love. this for you. <laughs> Love and blessings, man. Blessings. Bye. Guys, he supported the veggie chip shop, that's it. And keep it vegan, really. It doesn't matter if it's not the chip shop. Just try staying vegan and eat good food anywhere you go, guys. I'm in Nando's with a veggie wrap or I'm sitting in Leon, munching a Gobi Whichever one's nearer, vegan, now I see clearer No meat, no cheese, no milk, no eggs, don't believe me, I'll